What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. Now, this time around we are going over the recent campaign that has dropped for Global, which is the Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan campaign, which is the campaign that introduces LR, uh, Vegeta, and Trunks from the Tatabata um, that JP got back in July, was it? Yeah, something like that. Um, so let's go over the details. There's some very interesting stuff, some theories I kind of want to talk about. And then uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the stuff as well. So let's go right ahead and jump right into it. So the campaign is called Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan Campaign. There is the uh, Tons of Thanks tickets. This is the rainbow ticket that you can use for the Vegeta and Trunks banner slash the Tadabata banner as well. Um, so all these tickets are immediately free. This, you cannot buy any of these, right? Uh, as far as I know. But we'll get into that. Oh, I apologize. Let me do this. Bang. All right. <laughs> that was uh, that was my uh, my notifications. I have a little Minecraft noise. Uh, that's totally unrelated. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump <laughs> right into the news. Uh, so special missions, uh, login stuff, pretty normal stuff. Um, there is a co-op campaign for everybody. This is only for five days. So this is up until this Friday. So make sure to make sure to do all the personal missions associated with this. And I think we need like 30 or 50 million in, in total from all of us from just clearing stages in order to get all the rewards. Super easy. Very easy to do. I don't think we're going to struggle whatsoever. The Dokkan Fest for the new Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Trunks is here. Probably, if not the best unit in the game, even on both versions, even right now. Um, for both versions, right? Um, it's just that they do a lot and they're extremely defensive and they lead a very I would say versatile team, right? Uh, for the most part or like all your great important units are on it for the most part, right? Um, so they're really good Goku black. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, I guess he's another Goku black unit You can run with roses and stuff if they ever get buffs he could be good, but you know, there's that uh, it comes out tonight going into tomorrow. So I will be summoning on this on my main account. There are tickets and packs associated with this specific banner uh, that I will also be buying on my main account. And we're going to throw some summons. We're going to hopefully maybe get them, but we'll see how my luck turns out here. But I'll throw about 300 stones, give or take. If they have discounts, I'll do the discounts plus 300 um, plus the, uh, the packs and stuff like that. And the moment we get them. Is the moment we opt out. I don't. I'm not gonna chase more copies of them, and I'm not gonna chase uh, Goku Black. Right? If we get Goku Black, we get them. If we get, uh, ho hopefully, we get these two. That would be real, really good. Uh, stone cell. So a couple of things to talk about this. So there's gonna be a stone cell from here until the end of this Sunday, right? Uh, tonight until the end of the Sunday, which is just one week of stone cells. Then immediately after transitioning into the following week, it is going to be another set. So. This means that we're getting the Tadabata, like, right away, which is really awesome, right? Um, but we'll, we'll get more into that. We'll talk more into that. But So there is going to be a, po a Bond, a Parent, and Child category summon, you know? A whole bunch of, you know, you know, Gokus, Vegetas, Goten, Gohan, Strung, stuff like that. Elder Kai banner, pretty sweet. A new Dokkan event associated with the new Galagun LR, right? Uh, renew so the what's it called King Vegeta uh, is coming finally to global right he's from what I've seen he's not bad I mean I think people rank King Cold better than him but he isn't bad right he's if, if you're looking at all the super strike units and in, in one big pile then he's probably one of the better ones right I would have to play around with him and use him right I didn't really look too many into his kit outside of maybe maybe once or twice right but um definitely gonna look into him right very exciting stuff a new stage of infinite dragon ball history which is really really nice gonna be added tomorrow morning uh or today going into tomorrow right uh all a new boss rush is gonna be added very very nice uh rank xp is quadrupled up until the end of the month of december so a lot a lot of link leveling a lot of ranking very exciting stuff uh, success triples, a whole bunch of story events associated with like the future saga and stuff like that, which is very, very awesome. EZA is associated as well. A prime battle first form cell is being reopened, uh, which is really, really good. So if you have not got this guy done, this guy is here for the entire dude. This guy isn't here until the next year. Holy crap. That is a, uh... <laughs> okay. 
Um, so if you have not gotten First Form Cell, you should absolutely get him done, right? And this is where we get into the interesting stuff. So this is basically the uh, Tatabata, right, banner, uh, which is the the banner that holds the brand new unit, which is the Tatabata unit, plus the two uh, LRs from the anniversary before it. So in this case, it's both the Super Saiyan Force and the Gods, right? It's both Gogetas, which this is really good. So now if you have the coins for him, you can buy the year seven LRs, which I have enough to buy the gods. I'm personally going to buy the gods because I need the gods, right? I need a, like, I need a Saiyan movie hero lead. Gamma 2 is amazing, but he doesn't link well with others. And I need the power beyond Super Saiyan, right? Uh, I need that category. So I do need the gods, right? So that's for me. I'm going to buy them on my, on my free to play account. I have the, st I have the, the coins for him, right? Um, but there is something really good about this. So this drops literally next week. So Sunday going into Monday of, of this following of this week going into next week. Um, this drops, right? This banner drops, which is really early, dude. Normally this banner drops what, like around Christmas or something. So it's like, or a little bit before, right? So this is like dumb early, bro. This is like <laughs> super early, uh, which is fine. It's great. And it lasts the entire dude. What? Oh. So the 120 hours, so the, you know, buy three, get one free is only for a week uh, or like five days or something like that. But the entire banner lasts for like almost like what? What is that? 11 days? Yeah, something like that. And then there are tickets associated with this, which is the premium ones, which are these, right? These are the premium tickets. The tons of 10, the tons of thanks ticket are just free to free tickets that they give you. Uh, that are not associated with packs, right? It's entirely free tickets and entirely free multis for this specific banner. Uh, I am going to stock up as many as them as possible. And then I'm going to do a big summon at the end, right? Because they could continuously give out these tickets throughout the entire month. Which they're most likely going to do, right? So, uh, waiting until the almost the very end. Until we for sure know that they're not going to give it anymore. Um... I'll summon then, right? Which is going to be a month away when I when I use those rainbow tickets on this specific banner. Um, it's really all just a speculation if they're going to just give out a whole bunch of these. But at bare minimum, I think you get like 15 or something like 12 or 15. I forget the number off the top of my head. As of right now, you can get that many. But, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to do more campaigns, more social campaigns and stuff like that. So that's why I'm going to wait probably until the start of next year kind of. Like a couple days before the actual banner goes away, right? Unless we know for certain they're not going to give any more out, right? But, yeah. So, the sell, the ticket, well, the packs for this specific banner are going to be up the exact same time this banner comes out. So, I will also be summoning with the packs and maybe throw some stones in here. Who knows, right? Be a good time to get the year four, the year seven LRs, more copies, right? That makes them even more powerful, more formidable, right? Uh, moving on, the Extreme Z Awakening for uh, Tech Vegito Blue and STR Rose is finally here. Uh, both these characters are actually pretty good. They boost the Future Saga like big, right? Tech Vegito Blue, a lot of people saw it as a bit disappointment because it relies entirely on RNG, the amount of times he has to super. He can super a lot, and he does a lot of damage, right? And his kilt and his kit is built that if you do get good RNG, this guy smokes everybody, dude. There's like he beats the crap out of Broly, everybody, dude. Like, this guy's insane. But that's only if you have extremely good RNG with his additionals and crits and stuff like that. There's definitely a lot to his kit that make him a very formidable opponent, a very formidable card, but at the same time also makes him a very uh, liability, right? Same thing with STR Rose. STR Rose has the final kill buff, which if he does get that, he gets a huge buff to his power and defense and all these other aspects of him. But the problem is that he requires that, right? He's fine. These both units are fine outside of that RNG, right? But it's like it does require you to get that in order to get them, in order for them to be insane, right? Um, but there's they're good cards nonetheless, right? Very, very powerful cards. Very, very exciting. This drops uh, Sunday going into uh, Monday of this following week, right? Uh, this week coming up and then going into next week, which is very exciting. Uh, tickets associated with their banner. Um, you can buy to summon for a featured for their featured banner, right? So there you go. If you do not have them, uh, very exciting. And then their EZA. Uh, there is going to be an ultimate renewal ultimate clash this uh, around the same time that these. Well, it's at the same time these guys drop. So very exciting. An explosive chain battle 
is also happening at the same time, which is going to be Merge Zamasu, which is very exciting. Uh, rewards, all that fun stuff. We're going to see how this Merge Zamasu deal, uh, does to me, bro. I am not looking forward to this, but <laughs> I always I hate Chain Battle. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you, but we'll, we'll see how this guy treats me. Uh, new Super Auto Road stage is also coming around that time as well. It's coming around that time as well, and all Dokkan events will be available throughout the entire month of December up till the 23rd. Now, a couple of theories. This is pretty much all the news for the celebration, but there's a couple of things that aren't here. Uh, the obvious one is Fusion Merge Zamasu is not in the details. Now, whether or not there's a part two to all this, who knows, right? Um, whether or not there's going to be an extra celebration happening about the 20th or the mid of December, who knows, right? Um, as far as we know, I, I don't know when Go Golden Freeze is going to come out. I don't know when Merge of Monsters is going to come out. We can, I, At bare minimum, we can expect one of these two LRs to come up during the middle, the, the second half of January of next year. One of these two LRs is going to come. Either Golden Frieza or Merge of Monsters is going to pop up out of nowhere. Or they could just th throw Fusion Zamasu here just, just because he's part of the celebration. But who knows what they're going to do, right? But at bare minimum, we're going to get you the one of the, one of those two LRs on the second half of January. They always do that, right? So we got Janimba. Janimba was skipped uh, last year, right? And then he arrived uh, the second half of January this year. So we can expect something similar, right? So very exciting there. Merge the Monster is actually really good. <laughs> LR Golden Frieza is very good as well. So them not being in the game kind of sucks ass, right? <laughs> it really sucks. But who knows? And the other thing that people are talking about and everybody's talking about and bigger YouTubers are talking about is that we're going to get some type of, what's it called, superhero movie stuff for Christmas this year. Because supposedly all this was supposed to come a little bit later, right? Well, well, Vegeta and Trunks were supposed to come at the beginning of December. Not this early, but beginning of December. Um, and then we were supposed to get the title about it a little bit later, right? Um, and then we were supposed to get some LR or something like that, right? But everything is like literally happening within the first week Within the first official week of December that holds the full week of, for first full week of December We're supposed to get we're getting all this all this is dropping within the first week, dude All this is dropping. So What's and there's nothing scheduled for the week after so we're probably gonna get another celebration uh, aside from this right um, who knows what it's going to be, right? Um, really up in the air. It's probably going to be something to do with both JP and Global and JP, right? Um, whether it's Beast Gohan, Piccolo, who knows, right? Who genuinely knows? But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of this celebration. Are you excited for Vegeta and, Vegeta and Trunks, right? They're very powerful, if not the best LR in the game right uh, arguably if not arguably for certain right there's only like three contenders that can actually contend with that spot uh and even then it's like a very specific case that you have to make right um but the the return of this year sevens if you haven't pulled them is a good opportunity to just get them with uh with uh with coins just to get them out of the way because they're still extremely powerful right they're still very potent and they lead very powerful teams that a lot of these lrs are part of right and they're going to continue to be part of so getting them uh, through the mold, through these Tatabata summons, if you want to wait and save for that, or through the rainbow tickets, or if you just buy them with, with coins, it's completely up to you. I recommend getting the year sevens, at least one copy of them, so you're accessible to those teams, right? And you have those units available to you, which is the most important thing, is the first copy is always very important. Uh, but we'll see how my luck holds. I will be uploading a summoning video on my main account. Uh, for the Vegeta and Trunks, and then when the Tarabata celebration comes out, I'll I'll do another summoning video as that one as well. But I'm out of here. Let me know what you guys think. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace.